This is Let's Talk Big, the Big Read with Jane Berger and Jen Hazel. The Owens Community College Campus Read is taking place now and throughout the semester with the goal of bringing awareness of different perspectives through books. The Campus Read book is Carrie, a Memoir of Survival on Stolen Land, from 2020 recipient of the NEA Creative Writing Fellowship, Tony Jensen. It's a memoir in essays about gun violence, land, and indigenous women's lives. Now sharing passages, topics, and events related to the book, Carrie, a Memoir of Survival on Stolen Land, is Owens Community College Director of Library Services, Jane Berger, and Professor of English, Jen Hazel. My name is Jen Hazel, and I am here with Jane Berger and Kristen Price. So I am a professor of psychology in the Social and Behavioral Sciences Department. And she is going to tell us about this amazing event that we're going to be doing here on September 7th at 11 a.m. in College Hall 100. Thank you, Jane and Jen, so much for having me. So on September 7th, College Hall 100, we will be hosting a presentation on biases, implicit biases, biases in general, specifically in regard to the campus read this semester, Carrie by Tony Jensen. And as for my part, I'll kind of be zooming out a bit, talking about biases in general, how we all have them, nothing to be afraid of in general, right? They're not all bad. But we should have an eye toward impact over intention when it comes to biases in terms of judging other people just sort of having some intellectual rigor when it comes to looking at how we implicitly reason about other groups of people. Dr. Price, can you give us an example so that we can understand the impact of how important it is for individuals to attend this event that also will be live streamed, College Hall 100, 11 a.m., and will also be live streamed. Check out our website. Our website is what, Jane? owens.edu slash humanities slash read. Dr. Price? Yes. So one of the things I'll be talking about that is specific to sort of my area of interest is how young people sort of can very quickly absorb the biases of the adults around them, right? So unknowingly adopt those views when adults um, sort of unconsciously express those views of people around them and how we can sort of talk to young people and students about what that might look like and, again, what the impact is, not so much their good intentions, but what the impact of judging, again, specifically certain racial groups, in this case um, Native Americans. And then we will have another guest at the event who will talk more specifically about how that impacts certain specific groups. I think that's awesome because I teach a middle school class and I have seventh and eighth graders who for the last presidential election had such strong views in seventh and eighth grade. It was stunning to me because I don't recall my kids or even myself being so politically in tune at that age. And when you said that, that's immediately where I went. I thought, oh my gosh, these these kids really are paying attention to what their parents are saying, even if it's just subliminally, you know, from another room or whatnot. You definitely do pick up what you hear, what's around you. This is very interesting to me. I'm really thrilled to hear about this because you and I have talked a little bit about my five-year-old being in tune to certain things when we say certain things um, at home or if my husband and I raise our voices, whoever raises the voice first, she tells them by their actual first name, not (laughs) mom or dad, that they need to either cool it or cut it out. It's just interesting to me because I never anticipated that, right. how much they absorb. right. And so thinking about that from a standpoint of biases, like I think it's really good to be aware of being aware. Mm-hmm. And so once she started doing that, we were like, oh, hang on, we cannot have mm-hmm. certain whatever it is yeah. in front of each other because if we start to get a little like... A little heated, a little right. intense. <laughs> right. Sure. She will be like, Jen, cool it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. Reality oh, check okay. from a five-year-old. Yes, <laughs> exactly, right? And this is like a brand new five-year-old, <laughs> the start of the month we turned five. I'm, I'm thrilled, and I think it's super important that we have these conversations, and especially yes. 
from a sense as a lead into this big read, because we're going to read things that are going to be challenging and that are going to be hard and then are in your everyday understanding. And I think it's important that we have someone like Dr. Price come in and say, hey, here's what you might be experiencing. Here's what we look at. So we are just so thrilled to have you, Dr. Price, coming and and talking. There's a portion in the book where they talk about fracking. That's a conversation that I know some families have had because they have families who live where this is going on and it's an environmental concern and, and all. These young kids come in and start talking a little bit about it, which is just amazing to me that, wow. This they hear, but pick up your room, they don't. (laughs) I think it's important for all of us to hear another perspective. They may have heard one from their families, what they picked up, conversations of adults around them. But in reading this book, and even, you know, the young adults now, I mean, they not necessarily have had these conversations recently, but maybe a few years ago. And now that they get this other perspective from what Toni Jensen is presenting in her book, Maybe it just makes you scratch your head a little bit and go, huh, I guess I didn't realize that there's another side to this because you've already been used to hearing one side. Not that it's good or bad. It's just what you mm-hmm. have learned, what you what you know. Dr. Price, when are we going to hear from you again? So September 7th, College Hall 100, 11 a.m. Is that correct, Jen? Yes, yep. 11 We will be there, and I encourage you all to come out. Um, I'll just say that I think sometimes when the conversation of biases come up, people kind of you know, are on guard and think, what, what can I not say now? What can I, but this is just about opening up our minds, having some sort of intellectual humility. And, and again, when you, when you know better, you can start to do better. Right. So again, just thinking more carefully about how we're reasoning about different groups in the world around us. Thank you so much, Dr. Price. Please continue to listen to Let's Talk Big on the Outcast OCCR Owens Community College Radio on Thursdays at 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. You can catch it on Thursdays. Or if you want to hear it again, or if you want to send it out to people, because we love that too, you can also find it on the Owens Outcome Student Media Center YouTube channel. My family listens to it every week. I force them to, and then I ask them for feedback. They're now laughing as they're listening to this. Please check that out. On behalf of Dr. Price, Jane Berger, and myself, keep talking big. Join us again for Let's Talk Big, The Big Read with Jane Berger and Jen Hazel. Ah!